Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back finally to another episode of my Terraria Mage playthrough. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day and can I just begin today's episode with a massive apology and also a massive thank you for all of the support and patience you guys have been showing towards this channel and my series here. I truly do appreciate it my friends. Uh, basically all you guys need to know is uh, the reason for the little break is because I had some uh, pretty bad anxiety going on which is actually something that I've not suffered with in about four years now uh, so yeah basically it's kind of the effects of like many thoughts sort of conglomerating into a big mush of just blare so yeah I had a little bit of a break and now I'm feeling just about okay enough to the point where I can record again so yeah hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day I'm excited and eager to carry on with this series I really really am because there's been a lot of support lately my friends holy moly Good lord. Guys, if we can keep it up with two, maybe three thousand likes per episode, that would be fan freaking fantastic. Now, in today's episode, guys, what we're going to be doing is exploring hell and also exploring the dungeon. Because in the last episode, of course, we went ahead and we took down Skeletron, which is beautiful. We did it first time. Our battle plans actually went completely to plan for once, which is something that just doesn't happen with me, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. It just doesn't happen with me. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So, hello there, sir. You need to go bye-byes. Yes. Go bye-byes. In fact, you know what would be really nice is if I could get a demon scythe. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so. I'm starting to quickly realise that, you know, this is expert mode. And we are going to wind up getting, uh, you know, killed quite a lot probably. Uh, so, we got to be kind of careful at the very least. Yeah, they... Oh, God, these bats. Holy gosh. Oh. Well, that guy just got absolutely destroyed. Guys, we've got the Christmas event going on now, huh? That's pretty cool. Right, this is what I wanted to come down here for. There's literally nothing else that I really want to get right now aside from the Hellforge. Because obviously when it comes to hard mode, we're going to be using this to make some uh, cobalt bars, aren't we? So, yeah, it's a good thing that we've got that. Because, guys, we are going to go ahead and place this in our Mage Tower. And by the way, guys, since the last episode, I have not been idle. Not at all. In fact, guys, check it out. I finally have all of my chests sorted out. I decided to do it off camera because I'm very much aware of the fact that it is not the most interesting thing to watch in the world. So, uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good now, guys. We have a nice organized inventory system. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good, guys. And I, honestly, I'm raring to go. I'm so freaking ready. So, ladies and gentlemen, in that same spirit, we are going to make our way over to the dungeon. And, of course, we have a few magic weapons we can get from there. The Aqua Scepter. The, f not the Flame Lash. The, what's the other one? The Magic Missile. Yeah, that's another one we can use, right? Yeah, there's plenty of things we can get from there. the Cobalt Shield and of course the Shadow Key are other things that we can go ahead and get ourselves because, you know, in hell we can get ourselves the Flower of Fire. That's pretty cool. I feel like it's been an age since I've used that bad boy. So yeah, lots and lots of things to come today, my friends. So I hope that you guys are as excited as I am for more Terraria Mage playthrough. So, let's get to the dungeon. Ah, the descent begins, ladies and gents. And we begin with a golden key, which is beautiful stuff. Right, do you know what? Oh, gosh. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and pick up as many of the uh, shelf things as possible. That being the potions and, like, the water candles. I'm going to try and pick as many of them up as I can. Because, let's be honest, they're going to be kind of cool, aren't they? They're going to be kind of cool. All right, hello. Oh, goodness me. Okay, we've got to be careful, though, because these guys can be kind of nasty. There we go. A little bit of uh, water candle action. Give me a little bit of that, and give me a little bit of that. All right. We're looking pretty good, guys. All right. Oh, hello there. Hello, hello, hello. We have ourselves an alchemy table. Brilliant. Okay, I'm actually really happy about that, because uh, it means we can make potions with the chance of not using our potion ingredients, which is beautiful. Guys, what the heck is up with this? Terraria. I know that you're, like, trying to kill me, but three water candles with invisible range of each other? Jeez, man. I mean, come on. Don't be so, don't be so pathetic. You don't need to kill me that much. Jeez. Hello. Oh, die, will you? There we go. Cool. So, yeah, for those of you guys unaware, the uh, Christmas event in Terraria runs from the 15th until around New Year's. I don't know the exact date. I just know that it runs to around New Year's. Hey! That's our second star statue. That's cool. 
I'm actually kind of happy about that. <laughs> nice. All right, well, uh, let's carry on here. Bewitching table. Ordinarily, I would be ecstatic to take that, but obviously we're not using summons in this series, so yeah. Ow! Stop. Wow, there's like two chests right next to each other. <laughs> okay, don't mind about that. Oh, goodness me. Here we go. The invasion has begun, ladies and gents. Right, here we go. What have we got? Our first chest, we have the magic missile, which is indeed a weapon we can use. All right, nice. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep her going. Keep her going. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is, this is good. This is a good time. We're having a good time here, guys. <laughs> Ow! Son of a gun. Can you, like, leave me alone, please? I'd appreciate it. Oh, God. Right, I tell you what would be nice is if we could try and get ourselves the uh, Nazar pre-hard mode. It is something that you can get pre-hard mode. That and the Bazaar are the only things for the Ank shield that you can get pre-hard mode, right? So, yeah, it'll be kind of nice if we could get it now. Because otherwise we will, like, probably spend ages going for it later on. So, yeah. Right, anyways, guys, I'm going to grind around here for a minute. Ah, there we go. That's exactly what I was looking for. Another golden key. A Muramasa. Okay. Don't mind if I do. All right, there is a present over there. I do kind of want that. Oh, oh, goodness me. Oh, God. Don't die, Python. Die. Don't, please don't die. That would be very detrimental to your playthrough here. Oh, goodness me. So for those of you guys unaware, in my old uh, play... Oh, what the heck? That is a cool painting. I want that. I want that painting. Thank you. Powered by birds? <laughs> what? Do you know, it's... It's not been until recently where I've actually started paying attention to the paintings in Terraria. Like, some of them are freaking awesome, dude. Like, seriously, they are. Right, you, you, you guys all need to go bye-bye. I'm sorry, you all need to perish under maximum deletion. There we go. What am I, a freaking Cyberman? Oh, my goodness me. All right, guys, let's continue on. Huh? We're looking for anything epic, basically. All right, guys, so check it out. We've actually found ourselves one of the uh, rare biome chests here. This is the jungle chest. It does contain the piranha gun, which is a ranged weapon, so obviously we're not allowed to use it. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's still pretty cool, though. Uh, you know, it's a nice design chest. It's super rare, of course, so that's kind of cool. Oh, my God, that is amazing. Yes, baby, yes. That is awesome. Okay, I'm actually really, really happy about that because Mythical is the best modifier you can get on a magic weapon. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. I am, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that one. Very, very happy, in fact. Cool. All right, guys, let's continue on. And yeah, for those of you guys unaware, the reason why I absolutely surrounded that chest with torches is because it makes it a lot more visible on the mini map. As you can see, I mean, it, it's pretty easy to spot from a distance, isn't it? So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. All right, let's continue on. Oh, a tally counter. Nice. Alrighty, so here is the corruption chest. This contains the scourge of the corruptor melee weapon. Once again, not allowed to use it, but it is a very, very effective late game melee weapon, my friends. It truly, truly is. So, if we ever do a uh, warrior playthrough season 2, then uh, yeah, absolutely, I would be pretty happy to accept and use that. Alright, well in the meantime, guys, do we have any keys at all? Oh, dang blast. I don't think we actually do. Huh. All right, well, uh, we should probably make ourselves a bit of room for them if we manage to get one. How come I haven't found a freaking dungeon slime yet? Like, wh what's that all about? You usually find millions of them pre-hard mode. Where are you pesky critters? Ah, talking of dungeon slimes, there's one. The reason these guys are awesome is because they are guaranteed a key drop, which is good. All right, uh... Oh, gosh. Right, so we don't need the ammo, in fact, at all. So we could probably go ahead. Oh, my gosh. We could pick that up. Oh, I really want that painting as well. I'm go. I'm totally going, like, freaking painting shopping here. Something evil is watching you. Well, that's not creepy or anything, is it? <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, guys. All right, how much of this have we explored? Okay, so there's a fairly significant amount down there that we still need to explore. Uh, so in terms of what we're looking for in these chests now, we are looking for the shadow key... The Aqua Scepter, uh, okay, that's not something we need. Uh, I'm just going to go and put that straight in the trash. Uh-huh. Right, g uh, good goodbye to you there, sir. All right, uh, torches you can go, and I'm going to take the chest. All storage is good storage. If we wind up needing more storage later down the line, then this is going to be good. Oh, yeah. Hey, Budskis, get sculled. Yeah, you're getting killed by your own kind. How about that, huh? It's like freaking cannibalism, except you're not eating each other. Hmm, I don't know. Your cousins, I mean, they throw... 
body parts that mean stuff. Mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, come on. Come on. Let's keep finding some keys. I've already got ourselves a handgun this time. Once again, not allowed to use it, though. I'm just going to use that, trash that, get rid, and then do a little bit of this. Right, there is a regular chest over there. The good thing about regular chests inside of the dungeon is they are guaranteed, once again, to give you a golden key, which is great, because that's what we're looking for. Right, there we go. Beautiful. Right, chuck that, chuck that. Oh, goodness me. Ah! So many people! Go away! I don't want you. Oh, my goodness! What the hell is going on down here? Oh my god. It's a, it's a little slime death pit. Alright, well, uh, here we go. There's so many of them. Oh my goodness me. Wow. That's, uh, that's definitely the most amount of... Oh my god. What the hell? There's obviously some sort of slime... Oh yeah, I can see it. It's up the top left there. There's a slime statue going on. Yeah. Well, that would probably do it, wouldn't it? You little jerks. Get out of here. Ah, guys, check it out. Here we go. Aqua Scepter. The question is, is this going to be any good? The honest answer? No idea. I don't really feel like I use the Aqua Scepter that much to really give a valid opinion. Uh, but whatever. We'll go ahead and we'll take it. Uh, hmm. Do I really want to get rid of tin bars, though? Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess uh, maybe there's something else we can get rid of. Oh, the glow sticks. All right, there we go. I, I feel like the tin bars are more valuable than glow sticks, at the very least. Ah, the frozen chest. Look at that. So this has a summon weapon in it, the uh, Staff of the Frost Hydra. Once again, not allowed to use it. The one weapon we can use from those biome chests is the hallow chest, which has a rainbow gun in, I do believe. So, yeah. All right, we've got two more chests here. What have we got? A hey, beautiful. All right. Uh, let's get rid of those bottles and uh, another murder master. Ah, oh, dang blast. Well, there's me uh, rather hoping for the cobalt shield because that thing basically means you don't take uh, knockback anymore. Hmm. Okay, somewhere around there's got to be one. There's got to be some more chests around here somewhere. Right, let's have a look real quick. Uh... I mean, mostly above us, I think? Uh-huh. All right, well, we'll get there, guys. We'll get there. I'm looking for the Cobalt Shield. That's the final thing I want from this dungeon, and that's it. Literally, that's it. No, the Valor Yo-Yo is not what I'm looking for. I'm sorry there, broski. All right, come on. You've got to have one. I mean, isn't, like, every dungeon guaranteed at least one of every kind of weapon and loot? I'm pretty sure that's the case, right? All right, well, uh, I'm pretty sure the final one is up here. Well, I don't know if this is the final one, let's be honest. But, uh, yeah. Oh, what? Huh? Interesting. Okay, right. Uh, somewhere there's got to be another one? I mean, surely we don't have a dungeon with no Cobalt Shield. Like, that's that's not actually possible, is it? Or is it? I don't know. Right, we'll put that magic missile away. We'll take this, and then uh, I'd also like to take this, ideally. Oh, goodness me. All right, building potions. Goodbye. Final one, he says. Ah! Whew, thank goodness me. There it is. All right, I don't really care about those. Let's go ahead and get rid. And ladies and gentlemen, we're just about done. And I don't actually think there's any more locked chests. I actually think we got them all. Wow, it literally was the final chest we got that. That's pretty lucky, I guess. Whew! Okay, coolio. All right, we're just about done here, ladies and gents. We have 14 presents on our person, which I have to say is very, very nice indeed. Got a bunch of potions and various other wares. Oh, my goodness. Look at all these paintings we have. This is so cool. <laughs> I love the paintings in this game. I think they're fantastic. I really do. All right, tally counter. Yep, uh, spiked cobalt shield. If we combine that with an obsidian skull, which, by the way, we should be able to make... Then we should be good, right? So, there's the obsidian skull. All right, and where did that thing just go? Where'd I put it? There it is. Okay, coolio. Right, let's go down to the tinker table and combine it for an obsidian shield. And then... Yay! Cool! Okay, is there anything else we can combine at this particular point? I don't really think there is. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll put them on. Why not? Because we're going to, you know, need them. But still... Gosh darn. All right, guys. So before unboxing all the presents, let's go ahead and do a little bit of reforging here. Yeah! That's good. That's exactly what I was looking for. All right. Uh, no. No. Yes! Nice! 
This is a pretty good selection of weapons here. All right, and everything else is good. Okay, right, so, ladies and gents, unboxing all of these things. Yeah, a bunch of food. We've got ourselves the uh, South Park outfit. Nice, and we have the holly. Boop. Cool. I love me some of that. That is real freaking nice like. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and uh, put the star anise away. We don't need that. We'll put these in our vanity chest. And guys, I think it's time to go to hell. We're going to go to hell. We're going to see if we can't get ourselves some weaponry from down there. The flower of fire is what I'm thinking of. Uh, but hopefully, we can get it, I guess. Alright guys, so top tip for surviving in hell, have a water walking potion. Then you won't actually fall into the lava, you could just walk on top of it and you won't take damage. We've got the Spelunker potion so we could find ourselves the shadow chest a little bit easier. And here we go! Okay, so we're looking for shadow chests, that's literally it. We're looking for shadow chests to see if we can get ourselves the flower of fire. Uh, that would be very, very nice indeed. Hmm, are we going to find it or not? I don't know. All we can do is explore. Here we go, my friends. First shadow chest of the series, the Sun Fury. Okay, I mean, that's a pretty good weapon, but unfortunately, it's not what we're looking for. Flower of Fire, that is what we are looking for. Oh, there's another one up there. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Hi, hi. Hey, hey. Right, come on, come on. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Yeah! I'm pretty sure that's the highest amount of pre-hard mode damage on a singular weapon you can get. It's insane. Wow, I just like destroyed all of those in one foul sweep. <laughs> cool. Hey man, can you imagine if I got a mythical flower fury? Huh? Wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah. Yeah, think about that, huh? Think about the amount of damage we'd be doing then. Ah, the Dark Lance. Again, pretty good weapon, but not what we're looking for. To be honest, I, I'm pretty sure I've got an, all of the weapons I can get from Hell that are magical. Aside from the Demon Scythe, I guess. The Demon Scythe is another weapon we can get, I guess, from the uh, from these guys here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 guy, that guy there. Shooting their freaking purple scythes at me. Bunch of jerks. All right, well, uh, guys, I don't actually think there's anything else... I mean, I could try and farm these guys out for a little bit, maybe get a demon scythe for the sake of being a completionist, but uh, I don't think there's any need to. I'm going to be honest with you. I think we've got a pretty good smorgasbord of weapons for the Wall of Flesh coming up, right? I think we're good. Hm. Well, in which case, guys, I think we are going to end that episode right about there. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, you guys know what to do. Please do be sure to drop a like rating. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell so you guys don't miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, please. And guys, I'll see you in the next episode.